This is actually our first lecture of October, everyone. Happy October, a uh, spooky month. I thought that we could start off October with a spooky subject, a little scary one, Yaoi 101. Oh, oh, <laughs> gotcha. I'm Professor Lando. Welcome everyone to class. Put simply, boys love, otherwise known as BL. Yaoi, a genre of fictional media originating in Japan that features featuring male on male erotic relationships. It's typically created by women for women and is distinct from male on male media marketed towards men, directed, intended for men. It's distinctly a woman thing. Now, now, hold on, hold on. That might sound, you know, not to sound reductivist or anything like that, perhaps, perhaps even stereotypical. It might sound, uh, you know, dare we say misogynistic. You know, I, I myself quite enjoy a little male on male media every now and then, you know, sometimes, sometimes throwing a little futanari in the mix, you know, I don't know, a variety of spice of life. I, I can appreciate it. However, specifically when it comes to yaoi, primarily for women. Who are these women? <gasps> My God, Professor Lando, what? These women amongst us, among us? Fujoshi, girls who enjoy yaoi, literally translates to rotten girl, truly a degenerate. After the Tumblr, not safe for work purge. Uh, very tragic, by the way, losing all the not safe for work content on Tumblr. When civilizations fall, we lose a lot of technology. Uh, the great library of Alexandria lost to the fire, all the knowledge. Society set back hundreds, perhaps even thousands of years. When the purge occurred, most of the Fujoshis scattered. They went into hiding. The, the first question that comes up to mind is, you ask a Fujoshi, oh, so you must, so do you watch depictions of real men? erotica. And most of them say, no, not, not really. From the ones I've interviewed, of course, there's, there's error in sample size and whatnot. So you're not into the real stuff, but why yaoi? And it's, it's because they say that the fictional depictions, more emotional, it's, it's, yes, they enjoy the physicality, but it, it's, it's, it's more about the feeling, the vibes, the story, the role play, the dynamic between the characters. Uh, if you're a hard science major, you, you've had to take a lab class, or even, even in high school, if you've had physics or, or, or chem, PPE, personal protective equipment. I don't, I, don't, I don't want to get contaminated. Examples, if you're a visual learner, this is Yaoi. Just note the, the visual, what do you see? Just take it in, we'll be re referring to it later. Alrighty, like I skim like this, too much talking, too much talking. How? That's, over, that's like half the book. That's like half the book and I don't see any, uh, <clears throat> I don't, where, they're just talking. I need some pain. Oh, okay. Well, I see you. So, we're going to more terms. Semi's the top, usually dominant, usually dominant. And we also have, I actually don't really know how to pronounce this. Uke? Uck? Ugh. Am I right? Class, am I, am I right? Ugh, this is the bottom. Usually submissive. We've advanced far as humans, civilization to be exact, but we are still innately animals. We cannot fight our innate hunter-gatherer instincts, primal instincts, semes on the hunt, on the hunt in that jungle of bussy. The uke, the uke protecting his, his berries of innocence from being ravaged by the hunter. This game of hunter and prey is still inside all of us especially in the Fujoshis. This essence, this feeling is what the Fujoshis conjure when, when delving into Yaoi. Describing the two characters, usually two, I guess there could be more if you're some kind of sick fuck. And I know some of you are visual learners, so graphically, it's this, you guys know who Slenderman is, right? Slenderman, you, it's the essence of Slem, in fact, truly, because Slenderman is tall, lanky, and on the hunt, you know, we have tall, very, very lanky. Physical attributes are very, very sharp. Just because they're dominant, don't be fooled. Just because they're the dominant one doesn't mean that they're, it's, it's not about mas being macho, it's not masculine. They're still, they're st still very pretty and beautiful. And the hands, again, very much like Slender Man. Very large hands to grab onto that uke so they don't escape. This is the semi, the top. 
the bottom. Submissive. Always crying. Always crying. They're very soft. I think that's a very common term Fujoshi's use to describe the uke. Very soft. Like, like a little gummy bear. Very small. You know, very, very, very soft. Small. Crying. Very soft and small and crying. Small. Submissive. Uke. The bottom. See, see the correlation here. The, the hands, right? They're just like the right, they're the, the right size to just be ravaged. You know, we talk about history. It's important to keep in mind important uh, 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 hallmarks in the historical chronology. You know, I, I'm so happy that even, even so young, you guys, you, you chat, are, are so enthusiastic about learning. But, but you, you know, you can't help being young. Some things are lost to the test of time. Um, and you young people may not be familiar with the Fujoshi's weapon of choice, yaoi paddle. Um, you may not be familiar. Uh, this is a <laughs> this is a handle. Let's let's make this more. Yeah, that's a handle. Okay. Yeah, it it's like it's like you hold it like this. Like imagine the the broad side, like cloud. You know, like cloud sword. You hold it like this, or like the the dragon slayer from Berserk. You you hold it like this. Again, a lot of you may not be familiar, you young people, since conventions have not been a thing since lockdown and quarantine. Um, you know, even more so, these paddles were already becoming obsolete in, even when conventions were still operating. Um, they were already fading out. Yaoi paddles, what are they? Simply wooden paddles with the word yaoi on it. Sometimes semi, UK. Listen, this sounds like a joke. If you don't know what this is, Fujoshis would literally take these paddles and spank people. Sometimes people they didn't even know. You would just get spanked, turn around, and it's like, gotcha. Got you with the yaoi paddle, and it was we just giggled and we were just, we just laughed it off. Oh ha ha! It's just the yaoi paddle. Again, different times for sure. There there are many practices: bloodletting, lobotomy, torture, um, outdated, viewed in a poor light. And I believe yaoi paddles fall into that category. Listen, but if 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 a fujoshi were to ambush me and attack me with a yaoi paddle, I think they're gonna. Do they make yaoi paddles that aren't made that are made of something stronger than wood? Because that shit will snap like a twig on this. Do they make steel yaoi paddles? I want to bring up femboys right now. A lot of misconceptions. There's a lot of confusion. I believe that femboy, fembology, the study of femboys, femboy culture, femboy appeal, and the demographic. Sorry, the misconception is that this is one and the same, male on male. Yaoi? Well, femboys, it's all the same. Fujoshis, yes. No, wrong. It is a very different and separate sphere from the Yaoi sphere. We'll get into fembology in a different lecture. Bara. Pharmacopedia typically refers to masculine men with varying degrees of muscle, body fat, and body hair, akin to bear from bodybuilding culture. The genre focuses on male, on male love. There are Fujoshis, that's not to say that there are people in this sphere, the Fujoshis and the Yaoi sphere that can't appreciate uh, the femboys. There might be, there might be a slight, there might be a slight crossover in these two circles right here, but largely separate, largely separate and very different distinct groups. Okay, so don't mix it up. You will be tested on this. We will be talking about the bell curve of degenerate taste. A bell curve is a normal distribution. Here at the peak, what do we find? There's a lot of things in, in here. I, I included some other things. We're talking about Yaoi. Included Yuri and animated hentai because just, just for reference that there's other things in the peak. But the most common things you see here, you know, you, you hear Yao Yao Yaoi all the time. Jokes, memes. Not necessarily, again, I think the key thing is to say that it's not necessarily the, the best, just the most common. Yaoi up here. Femboys, tomboys and muscular girls. Common slash the average taste. Good taste, femboys, tomboys, muscular girls. Bad taste, lollies. I'm sorry if this is gonna confuse you, but I'm gonna have to include it because it is in integral to the diagram. Futanari is both good taste and bad taste. Paradoxical, for sure. Futa is both good and bad. We will explain that in a future lecture. You young people have it so good. Your access to the Yaoi media is simply a few clicks away. Not only is it a few clicks away, but the visual stimulus has evolved with the free market, the growing free market to cyberpunk 2077 levels of accessibility. Back in my day, there were 
the ancient texts, the Tablet of Gilgamesh, hieroglyphs in Egypt, and most importantly, fanfiction.net. From Wikipedia, fictional writing written in an amateur capacity as fans, unauthorized by, but based on an existing work of fiction. You would have had to read words. You would have had to search via word tags. Like you're some kind of some kind of hacker in a movie, like you're you're in the matrix. Fanfiction.net tags. Two important tags for historical reference. Lemon. Professor, lemon? What? We eating fruits now? Is this a this a class on nutrition? No, nay, lemon. Well, is a tag means that there will be a graphic intercourse scene in the story. If you see this tag, so you know, again, I you click the drop down menu, lemon. Click, I need the good stuff. Click, search, character X, Naruto, character Y, Sasuke. Tag, drop down, lemon, mature, search. Code Lyoko on that. There's another tag, limon, lime. Simply less graphic description of intimate acts. Definitely not something you would want to watch read with grandma, but nothing that bad. I did a lot of research back in my days. You know, I'm not, I'm not, I wasn't partaking in the forbidden fruit myself. I was doing research. I'm an academic. I'm a scholar. I'm an intellectual. Doing research back in my day, um, I read mostly the, the Naruto fan fictions. I want to make a note of the different tastes. I'm, I'm going to harken back to earlier in the lecture. We're going to talk about the different tastes in women and men that women and men have particularly women, media by women for women, and media for men by men. When I'm reading these in my research, uh, you can imagine me in like a ornate, dimly lit library with a big oak wood desk, and I'm wearing a, like one of those scholar gowns, and I have my reading glasses, and it's all sprawled out like a, like a, like a Dracula's library or something. And I'm reading and, you know, a lot of these, particularly with Naruto and Sasuke as a pairing, you always read something like Naruto's sun-kissed tan skin against Sasuke's pale moonlight skin. And that's how you know it's written by women for a woman, right? I, bro, like bro, I, I don't care about the skin. Tell me about his cock. Mm -hmm.